Hello everyone, Exentory here and welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, I was kind of thinking, I was just sat down chilling thinking, and I was like, well, so far I've only ever made Infinite Flight and real life plane spotting videos. So I thought I'd give something new a try, and that's going to be some news on some real life aviation. I'm not sure how well this video is going to do, but only one way to find out guys you gotta take risks with everything and this is what we're doing today so today I'm gonna be telling you about the future of the 737 MAX now a little background the 737 MAX was produced by Boeing to counteract the A320 Neos that were made by Airbus in order to, to cause some commercial rivalry between the two companies um, there were two Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashes um, killing 346 people aboard both aircraft combined. The first one was Lion Air Flight 610. It happened on October the 29th, 2018. And then Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. That crashed and that happened in March 2019. Um, the main cause of these crashes was the 737's MCAS system which is a system which makes sure the plane doesn't stall out by going too up and it's based on the nose of the aircraft and what it does it pitches the plane back down so because the engines are so far up the wings now they cause um, a lot of lift and a lot of thrust which will cause the plane to stall out so the MCAS system brings the plane back down so it doesn't stall out so the system was built to prevent crashes but ended up causing crashes. Um, Boeing are yet to admit that is the issue of the crashes but air crash investigations believe that is the cause of the crashes. Pilots aboard the 737s um, were not taught or trained on how to use the MCAS system. This is due to Boeing rushing the production of the 737 MAX in order to get the competitive um, rivalry with Airbus so Boeing rushed the production and told airlines that purchased the 737 MAX that no additional training would be required for the pilots on board the 737s. Um, this of course led to two fatal crashes um, with hundreds upon hundreds of deaths. Um, it's a real shame all of this happened but Boeing are not sure, we're not sure whether the aircraft will be back in the skies anytime soon. Um, personally, I believe the aircraft will not end up back in the sky without either proper thorough training on all the new pilots or a proper redesign of the aircraft. Um, Boeing didn't redesign the aircraft, they just stuck two new engines on the current models of the 737. It um, made them more viable for transatlantic routes and everything and much more efficient for airlines that used them. So that is it for the news on the MCAS systems upon the Boeing 737. Now let me tell you a bit about what Boeing has said they are going to do. Boeing have intentions on getting the 737 MAX back in the air as soon as they possibly can. Now the 737 MAX series is very important to Boeing. The market for the 150 to 200 seater aircrafts is very very competitive especially with their main competitors Airbus. It is very important considering that the A320neo is very popular among multiple European and American airlines right now. Uh, the 737 MAX again was built for competitive reasons and due to its rush caused all of these crashes. The future of the 737 MAX is currently unclear but we can either see it back in the air within the foreseeable future, well not within the foreseeable future but after the foreseeable future it can be back in the air or they may just scrap the program and get rid of it. Boeing also have their 777X which was released several months ago, it is doing amazing. Also the Airbus A350, it's been with us for quite a lot of years now and that is doing amazing. The A350 is in direct competition with the 787 which causes even more rivalry. The two companies battle for and heads, they just battle all the time for the most efficient and the best aircraft in the market. Airlines look for cheap and efficient aircraft so they can um, make lots of economic profit off of flights that they operate. If airlines are after small aircraft for transatlantic flights, they will look for more efficient aircraft and ones that are perfect for the amount of people that demand the route.
Lots of money was lost for Boeing during this process. I believe they have cancelled most orders for the 737 MAX or it is currently being threatened due to the lack of safety on board the aircraft and the higher risk of crashes. Boeing were due to make lots of money as Airbus have now made even more money off the A320 due to it being safer and a better history um, for many reasons. The A320neo, it's done amazing for Airbus. They currently have minimal competition, now the 737 MAX series are no longer in the market. Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. Those of you that have always been with the channel for Infinite Flight, I will definitely keep up the Infinite Flight videos. I do hope you all though enjoyed this YouTube video here. Hope you guys learned something new and maybe we will see the 737 MAX series back in us guys sometime new. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you all soon. I also forgot to mention that I'm going to be doing a little photography challenge on Instagram. If you guys have any good photos from Infinite Flight, send them over, put hashtag XCentoroGaming. Um, I will check out that hashtag later on in the week. The winner, I will give them, there will be three winners. Um, all three photos will get reposted on my main Instagram. And then the best photo of them all, the person who takes the photo, shall get a shout out and a few other little surprises. Um, thank you everyone for watching this YouTube video today. I do hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in my next YouTube video which will be most likely on Wednesday at 6 o'clock because I'm always uploading a video that day at that time. So other than that, I will see you guys soon with an Infinite Flight video. Thank you.